Hello everyone, blessings and greetings from Father Angelos. Today is Tuesday, March the 31st. Yesterday we started something new at St. Killian Parish. We started the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament outside for public worship and adoration. So we expose the Blessed Sacrament from 5 to 6 p.m. and we will continue to do so Monday through Friday every week. The only condition is people can come and spend time before the Lord, but they have to remain in their cars, that they cannot get out of their cars because we want people to stay safe and healthy. And we want everyone to maintain the social distancing so that no one gets sick. Our topmost priority is to make sure that our people are safe, that they remain healthy and we pray constantly for that. Many of you came yesterday evening to spend time before the Lord. That was truly encouraging, very inspiring. And I know so many of you watched from your home online and joined us in prayer before our Eucharistic Lord. What a privilege it is. What a beautiful experience for us to spend time before our God who is with us who loves us and who cares about us. I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, as I do all the time, to pray more, to spend time with God. Today, I want to reflect with you on our first reading. The first reading is taken from the book of Numbers. And we have something beautiful there that we can all relate to. Now, what happened was Moses was leading people from from the land of slavery, from Egypt to the promised land. But the journey from Egypt to the promised land was not an easy one. And it wasn't a short one either. We know from the scriptures, it took 40 years for the people to reach the promised land. You can imagine how difficult, how tiresome the journey must have been. But it was worth it because they were no longer in the land of oppression. They had freedom. They were not deprived of the, the fundamental rights that every human being must have that God has given us. So they, they still had those rights, those freedom. And now what happened was the people were getting impatient. They thought that things would happen immediately, that they would reach the promised land sooner. Now it was taking longer than they expected. And as I said, it wasn't an easy journey. So as they got more and more impatient, they started complaining against God and against Moses. Now what are they doing? They're forgetting everything, all the wonderful things God had done in their lives. The sacrifices Moses made for their sake, they, they forgot all that. And they just kept complaining asking Moses and asking God, why did you bring us out of Egypt to die here in the desert? Well, they were dying in Egypt anyway. A lot of them died in Egypt. A lot of them got killed. They were suffering there. And God showed great mercy and, and compassion on them in bringing them out of that land of slavery and taking them, leading them to the promised land. Now they started complaining. Now, why were they complaining? They were complaining because they were focusing on what they did not have. They were not really thinking about what they still had. They had freedom. They were deprived of freedom in Egypt. Now they had freedom. They forgot all that. They had still food to eat. God was giving them food. They forgot even that. And they kept complaining. And of course, they were punished for their ingratitude, for their impatience, and for their complaining. It happens to us too. Just for an example, the other day, one of my friends called me and he was frustrated. 
he was impatient and he kept complaining saying that he was getting fed up of staying at home for so many days when will all this end when will he can when he can finally go out and have the normal things of life so he was just going on complaining and then after listening to him for few minutes i said okay now that's enough take a break and maybe look at what you have you're only focusing on what you don't have have you thought about what you still have in your life you're alive thank god for that you're healthy thank god for that you have a beautiful home that you live in thank god for that and you are not broke yet thank god for that and you have friends that you can still call and talk to thank god for that you have a television at home you can still watch programs entertainment there are so many blessings in life that we take for granted and when we take our blessings for granted and then focus on what we do not have we get frustrated we become impatient and we start complaining so today my brothers and sisters i invite you let's decide not complain today just for a day today i will not complain today i'll be thankful today i'm focusing on the blessings that i have today i'm focusing on the things i have so i have no time to think about what i don't have because i know i still have so many things that i should be grateful for so take a few moments reflect on that we have so many things that we can be grateful for and i want to invite you to join me in a prayer this prayer prayer is for patience we all need patience and when we become impatient is when we start complaining and getting frustrated let's all pray for more patience in our lives please join me in prayer grant me patience lord as i say await your answers to my call teach me to be still in the midst of the storms for your timing is always perfect never too early and never too late knowing that you hold the future it is definitely worth the wait it's definitely worth the wait amen and we continue to pray to our blessed mother asking her to pray for us and pray with us we ask mother mary to pray for all those who are suffering all those who are struggling may mother mary's prayers help us in these difficult days hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And may almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son. and the holy spirit amen please stay safe and stay healthy and know that i love you and i will see you again tomorrow have a blessed day